The year in social media. Once again, Katie Couric. If it happened in 2012, you probably saw it on social media. The events of the year weren't just taking place in front of you, they were taking place with you. Such an unusual storm, a once in a generation event. As a superstorm raged, uh -oh. you were sharing hundreds of first hand videos. Oh my God! We do have breaking news tonight. tonight. When a legend passed, you were posting millions of comments. Listen to the crowd out in Times Square. And as a president was elected, you were tweeting over 300,000 tweets per minute. The site that started it all, Facebook, had a lot to like in 2012 when it reached 1 billion users. And a relationship status update. CEO Mark Zuckerberg went from in a relationship to married with longtime girlfriend Priscilla Chan. So let's do this. But it wasn't all good news on the timeline. After much hype surrounding Facebook's IPO, disappointment on Wall Street left people wondering, what just happened? After a day of trading, shares were only worth 23 cents more than where they started. The person I feel worse for is Zuckerberg, because he went from being a billionaire to still a billionaire. It's got to be rough. If you watched any television show in 2012, you might have noticed something new. It's there right now. No, not a number sign. It's a hashtag. The little pound sign that started as a way to organize conversations on Twitter is now a cultural sensation. People have started using hashtags almost as strange parentheses where they say what they're really thinking as opposed to what they just wrote. Over the shoulder, Nikki! The app that brought us the hashtag also let us see celebrities in a whole new way. That's a new phenomenon, the celebrity who overshare on Twitter. We don't need to know that you just went to go pee and had a bagel at the same time. Celebrities who are using Twitter don't always have a publicist standing next to them. So the people who tell celebrities you shouldn't say that, they can't stop them from suddenly sending out a tweet in which they, oops, attach a naked photo. And you're wasting my time. You're HBO's you're newsroom starlet, Allison Pill, accidentally sent this topless tweet while trying to delete it from her phone. Hashtag, oops. Justin Bieber was almost sued when he tweeted, call me right now with this phone number. The last digit of question mark. Frenzied fans dialed every combination of the number. Justin, oh my God, call me back, I love you. Bieber's phone never rang, but for these Dallas residents, it never stopped. I was getting three calls a second, and, and as fast as I could hang up the phone, it kept ringing and ringing. Hashtag, don't call me maybe. It wasn't just Twitter and Facebook monopolizing our time this year. The rising stars Instagram and Pinterest seem to come out of nowhere. But the true breakout star of social media in 2012, the meme. But what is it? A meme is an instant trend based on an image that has often been manipulated. When Mitt Romney threatened to cut off PBS during the first presidential debate. Sorry, Jim, I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird. Thousands flock to Facebook, sharing Save Big Bird memes. A member of the Fab Five, Michaela Maroney, became a social media sensation after making this face on the metal stand. For a split second, she was biting the side of her lip, and she looked unimpressed. The moment was quickly coined, Michaela is not impressed. And so was the meme. To make that face, you basically have to look as disdainful as you possibly can. Maroney took the look on her media tour, and everyone from David Letterman to the president himself gave it a shot. Amongst all the tweeting, sharing, posting, and pinning, there was one image that stood out from them all. So it turned out that Obama won the social media battle by a lot. This photo of President Obama and First Lady Michelle 
is the most liked picture on Facebook and the most retweeted of all time. It was very intimate and very small, and it showed a gesture between a husband and a wife. It was a first in election history. It was the first time that a president acknowledged that he had won his election in a tweet, and it's a sign to come of how leaders are gonna try to communicate directly to their supporters using social media. So what's next for social media in 2013? Well, you'll just have to follow to find out.